First male juvenile in space. First male juvenile in space. First male juvenile in space. Seven before the hour, and next week, six astronauts will launch into space on the shuttle Discovery. In the past year, NASA sent its first woman astronaut on a shuttle, its first black astronaut, and there are plans to begin sending civilian passengers as near as 1985. And so far, all the astronauts have been adults, but a lot of youngsters would like that to change. And Meredith Medley is an 11-year-old from Port Aransas, Texas, that's near Corpus Christi, and she recently applied to NASA to be an astronaut. Spencer Hammonds is from Porter, Texas. He's also 11 and is also aiming to be an astronaut. They are both with us this morning. And good morning, guys. It, uh, it's a pleasure to have you here in New York. I'm Meredith. You're just a little nervous, but everything's going to be okay, right? Yeah. <laughs> Meredith, I'm going to ask you now, when did you first decide that you would like to be an astronaut? Well, I can't really tell what, t what date or... I mean, what gave you the idea that Meredith might become an astronaut? Well, I've always liked space a lot. And what really encouraged me is when Samantha Smith wrote to Yuri and Dropitoff about peace and the world. And that's what really got me to send this letter off. Mm -hmm. You know, I interviewed her right here. She was sitting right where you are. She had quite a time. Uh, and what was the answer that you got back? Well, first of all, they said no. Then about two weeks later, they had sent a letter saying that there's a category of observers and that here was an application to send in. And I sent it in and I haven't heard anything else. Well, I think you'll probably hear from them. They're awfully good about it. And uh, uh, what, you, are, you, are you sure, do they call a, uh, an astronaut, an ast or they call you an astro person or an astro kid? Or do you know? Or? Um, I don't know what they'd call me. I think probably just a plain old astronaut. Yeah. <laughs> Spencer, you're really into this. Uh, when did you first get interested though? About six years ago. Mm -hmm. And what was your first move in this direction? Well, um, first I read up a lot on the space shuttle and I have a whole lot of books at school that I can read in the library and a lot of books at home. And I just read a lot and then I decided to send a letter down to NASA to ask if um, I could be an astronaut first male juvenile in space. Mm -hmm. And their reply? They haven't replied yet. You're going to go to the United States Space Camp, though, uh, this summer. Now, that should help a lot, shouldn't it? Yes, sir. Uh -huh. And you will learn how, what will you do there? I mean, you'll learn really some of the fundamentals of being an astronaut. It's just like the training that the astronauts go through. Mm -hmm. And Meredith, what are you going to do this summer? Well, I'm going to study more about uh -huh. it, but I'm not, I'm not going to be old enough to go to the space camp, because mm -hmm. In August is when I turned 12, and right. he said that 12 to 14 was the age that you well, can go knows? to Well, who knows? We'll be camp. looking for you guys, along with David Hartman and John Denver. <laughs> a lot of people want to get up there. Meredith, good luck to you. Spencer, you too. Okay. Thank Maybe you. Maybe a couple of future astronauts. And we'll be back after this from General Foods.